And we are back. This is Riverdale Season 7, Episode 11. This is the Halloween episode. I'm excited because Halloween's my favorite holiday. I also have a very good feeling regarding Barchi this episode. I know some people, some Barchis have not lost hope, but they're not as positive. I understand. I completely do. I'll admit, last episode did not go how I expected, but I still enjoyed the episode. It was really good. Um, I personally, see, if you know me, you know, I have a very good feel. I know I said that last week, like I said, it didn't go how I expected, but I have a good feeling about this episode. I feel like this is going to be a huge step forward for Barchi, for both of them. I think we're going to get, not a love confession, but a feeling. Love, 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 love confessions later in the season. Maybe the musical episode. But I think this is where they're both finally going to come together and their feelings are all going to be confessed. I have a good feeling. And I really think we're going to get the porch scene tonight. And it's going to be like a parallel to the pilot. If we actually get it, I'm... Oh, I'm going to die. But regardless, I feel like I just have a good feeling. I part of me is setting my expectations a little lower, but I'm really positive about this episode. Like I just I have a good feeling, you know. So let's hope I'm right. Oh, hello. So we're just jumping right in with the Halloween stuff. Okay. I love Halloween. Where are you? Ooh, Barchi's sitting next to each other. Oh, he's triggered by wolves now. We're about to get the fantasy from the promo, aren't we? Yep. It's a woman's world, and he's so glad it is. When it's hers, it's his. This technically doesn't count as their first kiss in the 50s, does it? Sorry, what? I was just no. saying. And then at midnight, we raise the dead. Ooh, clever. Because I was thinking we could spend it together. Yes. Veronica's got me roped into her ghost show, but it would be a guess. If you joined it on the fun too. Yes, show me on She's Halloween. Got some sort of floor show plan to with the kick line. Yeah. And you perform? In, in front of people? Good God, man. So let me know when you grow a pair. For those of you who actually care. Can someone about punch him in the face for the zillionth time? Cream puffs. We're meeting tomorrow night, school parking lot, at sundown. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. He's such an annoying and insufferable character. And then let the spirit move you. And then let the compass tell me all about it the next day. Let the compass direct you to the so, porch. I've been thinking. Everyone stays home and watches Mr. Cooper and I host Shock Theater on RIVW. We dress up in uh, singed clothes and we introduce old horror flicks. We have a little banter in between. Oh, it's quite the event. We really give families a tickle. Well, we're not really expecting a family crowd. A tickle? More keeping secrets. Me too, dear Rich. Hmm. Perhaps it's time we both confide in each other. Maybe on Halloween night after the festivities. Gotta love Halloween. Man, I can't believe how much she knows about fixing up cars. <laughs> More yeah, jealous Archie. Anyway. I'll never Her turn down jealous jalopy. Archie, sorry. Did you ask her? Did she offer? No, nah, she offered, but the <laughs> truth is, I was kind of giving. <laughs> I'm eating this up. Her, you know? Well, she might want to get with me, Reg. Like I said, we do have a history. Like I said, the compass uh, is gonna go towards the uh, porch. 
Let's make a pact then. Oh, a pact. Come on, hello, hello. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. How do I look? <laughs> Gee whiz, Betty, you look tremendous. Gee you whiz, I'm huh? knocked out. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Goldilocks, of course. You know, she couldn't decide on a bed, so she tried all three. Shall we head out and see where the night takes us? I'm still positive. Hi. You both look amazing. Well, it means a lot to me that you came and that you're willing to perform. Veronica's over the moon about it. So am I. Well, as you say, it's Halloween. It certainly is. Can't wear up tonight. Ted Sullivan, is he here? Uh, no. Ted's dead. Ted Sullivan, the writer, as in one of the writers of Riverdale? Here we have been. Feels like I've known you my entire life. You yeah, have, you're engaged. I feel the same way. You're engaged. You just don't remember. Oh. Hey. So where's this haunted house anyway? Well, come on and let me show you the way. If you're brave enough. If I'm brave enough. Hello, Queen. God, I'm such a sucker. It is dismantle the magnificent. Go away, Julian. Oh, come on. Don't be such a stick in the mud. I'd rather walk. We're going across the bridge to Greendale to raise some hell. Hop in. Nope. Come on, join the fun. Reggie, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a Unless trap. You've got something better to do. It's a trap. Fuck off, Julian. Move over. No. Oh <laughs> boy. It's a trap. <laughs> I think I want to kiss you. Oh. I feel exactly the same way. Oh my god. Oh, fuck this milkman crap. Hey, there's no one out there. What do you look like? This is going to sound Looney Tunes, but he looked like uh, a milkman. Milk man? I don't care about milk. I'm just focused on going to kiss. Alright, let's punch it. You two had a pretty big moment during the floor show. That was I some know. kiss. I know. Yeah, I'm not complaining, but it was pretty brazen, Cheryl. If I'm ever challenged about it, I will simply explain that I was possessed by the Halloween spirit. Can I just say that I'm really happy that us four put our masks away, even if it was only for one short magical night? I wholeheartedly concur. Oh. Oh my god! Oh, I thought it was Alf. Oh, fuck Evelyn. <gasps> Throw the porch! Oh, the spider boogeyman ending. Fuck the pillow. This was the best house. Wait, I need the pillow. Tired wife, Betty Cooper. Mine too. Cooper? Why are you out so late? 
Mom. I thought kind of I you weren't my mother anymore. Yeah. I'm not. But you still live in this house. So get your butt inside right this instant. <laughs> Fuck Alice. Bye. I demand. Fuck you. I demand another porch scene. Sam. <laughs> Oh. I told everyone it was a milkman. It was Ethel all along. Archie. Archie, wake up. Archie, wake up. What do you want, Frank? Come on, get dressed. Oh, Frank, what's wrong? There's been some kind of accident. No. A couple mm -hmm. of bulldogs went off the bridge into Sweetwater River. Tell me he's alive. Tell me he's alive. What is that? Are there yep. any survivors? We yes. don't know yet. <gasps> Jillian dead, yay. Reggie better be alive, or we're gonna have some issues. Okay, that was a really fucking good episode. And I'm, I might be a little biased because I love Halloween episodes. But that was just really good. It was really entertaining. Halloween episodes tend to be entertaining. H holiday episodes in general tend to be entertaining. So, good news and bad news. Good news, we got the porch scene. Bad news, Alice interrupted it. I demand a redo. I demand another porch scene. It was still beautiful, though. It was beautiful, and then Alice ruined it. But it's okay, because we got Barchie's first kiss in the 50s! <laughs> I don't want anyone to ever doubt me again. I've been saying for how long that we were going to be okay. And we're okay. Despite the interruption at the end, we were okay. This is why I'm always positive because I've it's always been clear to me that we, we would be okay. And apart from that, Shoni kissed during the little ghost show. I was literally, like, taken aback. I was like, oh my god. And then Veronica started singing. I was like, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still focusing on the kiss. Like, my bad. <laughs> I fucking love Shoney. And it just makes me sad that I'm losing my ships in August. <sighs> I'm not focusing on that right now. It's gonna make me, it's gonna make me cry. <clears throat> I'll wait till the finale to do that. Oh my god, Reggie, Reggie better be alive, I'm telling you right now. So Julian, as we know in the prom, pro, plomo, promo, is alive but in very critical condition. Can he die, please? I'm sick of his ass. If Reggie dies, I'm gonna be very upset. If Julian dies, I don't care. If Reggie dies, I'm gonna be pissed. The only reason I would ever feel bad for Julian dying would be for Cheryl. Because if we were to see Cheryl be upset, which she, she probably would be, I would feel bad for Cheryl. I wouldn't care about Julian, and I sure as fuck when I give a fuck about Penelope, fuck her. But yeah, I hate Julian Blossom, and Reggie better be fucking alive. I feel like he is. They would not. <laughs> right? They better not. And the Milkman plot this episode, as usual, was kind of meh until... I'm gonna be honest, when I saw the Milkman in that last shot, I thought Ethel was about to be dead. But no, she killed him. So, the way I'm, the way I'm interpreting that... Was it Ethel all? Was it Ethel all along? Or did she just kill the milkman to like, so that he would like go away or something? I don't know. My first thought was it was Ethel all along. I guess we'll have more elaboration next week. What is next week even about? Like the promo looked kind of confusing. I forgot what the synopsis said, so I'll have to read it again. Yeah. 
So was it Ethel all along? That was my first thought. <laughs> Hmm. It's like deep down, I know the whole Milkman comic thingy plot is gonna, we know it's gonna have relevance. It kind of already does in a way and it's gonna end up being essential. But like, it's like right now, it's just so boring. It's like we have everything else going on and then there's just this plot. It's like, I mm -hmm. I missed Tabitha this episode. Is she back next week? Oh, we're not here next week. We're on a two-week hiatus now. I'm gonna have to go back and reread the synopsis again, because I to synopsis again, because I totally forgot what next week's even about. <sighs> Farchi. Their first kiss in the 50s was beautiful. Oh my god, their scene at Fred's grave was beautiful too. That might actually be one of my new favorite Barchi scenes. So... Technically, was that the porch scene that we were supposed to get? I feel like it was. It was beautiful, but that almost interrupted it. But it makes me happy knowing that wasn't the scene that we're gonna get, I don't know when. I wanna say in episode 13 or the musical. Because the musical is episode 14. What is the musical this year? Because it's our last musical and it's episode 14, so... Was it ever confirmed what the last musical is? Wait, oh... Uh, I think... I don't know if it was confirmed... But I could, I could swear I read something about... Archie the musical? I could be totally wrong. I thought I read something about something like that. But I guess we'll have that confirmation when the musical episode comes. But I'm excited for whatever content we get in that episode because it's a musical episode, so. I wonder what songs we'll get. But it's 14, so we'll find out in Four weeks, because we have a two-week hiatus for next episode. Anyway, that is it for now. That is Riverdale Season 7, Episode 11. Almost Season 11. <laughs> season 7, Episode 11. Overall, really, really, really entertaining as fuck episode. I love Halloween so much. <laughs> so, yeah. Two-week hiatus. Yay. But hey, it gives me more time to edit Fear of the Walking Dead. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this episode and your theories for next episode, and I will see you guys next time.